And what I are, think there are three, three essentials always in developing leaders. First of all, is is your own example. Um, people do what people see. So if I'm going to develop leaders, I have to be a good leader. Maybe the greatest leadership words ever said was follow me. Just just follow me. Watch me. Because people, what Sam Research says, 89% of what we know, we know visually. That's and, and so I, I think, first of all, in developing leaders, you have to model it. The second thing I think in developing leaders is you have to be intentional. I think that um, uh, you have to uh, commit yourself to uh, finding them, which I talk about in the book, letting them come to the leadership table, uh, discerning what kind of capacity they have. And then I think you have to intentionally have a, a, a program of development for them. I think you have to have a process. I think of all the money we spend in companies and in, in marketing and in advertising. And, and, and you know, I was, I was speaking one time, this was several years ago, for AT&T. And uh, when I got, was introduced to their maybe top 300 leaders, I was going to spend an afternoon with them. Uh, the guy said something very interesting. He said to them, he said, you're our most appreciable asset. And of course, that's a wonderful statement there. Everybody loves that. And I, and I came up behind him and I said, it's true and it's not true. I said, you're really only an appreciable asset if somebody intentionally develops you and you intentionally develop yourself. We, we don't automatically get better. And, and this is a big mess. I think that we think, well, if I just automatically go to work or if I automatically do my job, that I'll just grow. And, and you know, I had a mentor when I was in my 20s just say, you know, John, growth is not automatic. You know, getting older is automatic, uh, but, but getting better isn't. And, and there's a lot, world of difference. So I think that you have to be an example, and I think you have to be incredibly intentional in saying, okay, I'm going to have a leadership culture. I'm going, to have, I'm, going to, I, I, I'm going to develop leaders. And the third thing I think that is just overlooked consistently in developing leaders is that you, you, you've got to empower them. You, you have got to um, let them run the ball because the only way you learn leadership is by practicing leadership. So I think what a good leader does is he sets the or she sets the stage for a successful run. You want to get some wins under their belts for mm -hmm. them. And uh, I just think that it's uh, an empowering environment where you release people. And, and I, the, the problem is leaders will stop and say, well, but they don't do it as well as I do it. And I, I said, that's not the point. The only way they can ever do it as well as that you, you do it is for them to do it. Mm. And then for you to coach them and come alongside of them and, 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 and say, okay, here's how you can do that better. And you know, we have a, a kind of like a five-step equipping process. I do it, I do it, you're with me, you do it, I'm with you, you do it, and then you do it and someone else is with you. And it's a multiplication process there. So I think those three things of the example, the intentionality, and the empowerment, that's I think what develops a leadership culture that really establishes the fact that if you want to learn how to lead, this is a place where, you know, where you, where you can do that. I, that when I would bring people on the team, I would share with them that I wanted them to work themselves out of a job. Yeah. And, 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 and pretty much I would just say, okay, you've got the job. I want you to do it well. Let me see you do it well. But while you're doing it well, you find somebody to replace you replace you and 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 that's how you boy that's really how you develop you talk about a, a a farm team of leaders and and if 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 you can work yourself out of your job i'll, I'll give you another job you know uh mark cole who he and i are are, are owners of the company now and he's the ceo and president but he started off in in the stock room 20 years ago whoa 20 years ago and i was just asking him recently in a conversation to how many jobs did you work your way out of to get where you are? He said nine, nine, wow. nine times. And I tell people, first of all, I can't promote you unless you got somebody to replace you. Mm -hmm. So the first part of promotion isn't just getting better till I want to bring you up. First part of promotion is to show me some person that we're not going to have a big loss if I do bring you up. And, you know, nine times he worked himself out of, out of a job, found somebody else and said, okay, come on up, come on up, come on up until one day he's, he's, he's where he is. I'll bet that you want to be successful. In fact, I will also wager that you have spent a lot of times asking yourself the question, how can I be successful? What is success? Um, 
How can I achieve the dreams that I have within myself? And I just want to begin this talk by congratulating you, because if those are questions you've asked, if those are thoughts that you have gone through your mind, I want you to know that you have probably within you a restlessness and a potential that says to me that you have not yet achieved your maximum success. You have not yet probably arrived to your greatest potential. And that's why we're spending time together, because I have a passion, a great passion in my life to help people be successful. Uh, there's no greater joy that I have than to walk along beside somebody just like you and find out where you are and then say, okay, um, this is where you are, but this is where you could be. And you look at me and say, John, that's exactly what I want. I want to go there. I want to be there. I want to, I want to arrive that to that destination. And together we kind of, we kind of work it out and, and, and we make it. So let's talk about success. You see, the first mistake that people make about success is that they somehow think that it's a destination. So they'll come up to me and they'll say, John, um, uh, how do I become a success? Uh, how do I arrive to my dream? And, and I can tell that they look at success as something out there. They're here. And success is out there. And so somehow they think that uh, over time, I suppose, that if they do the right things, they can get there. And I, the first thing I want you to know, that success is, is not a destination. It's a journey. Think of success as a process. Let me, let me illustrate it and explain it this way. Uh, if, if you go to college... Uh, you work hard, and in four or five years, depending on what kind of degree you're working on, and in today's society, sometimes six or seven years, but, but eventually uh, you, you comes the day of graduation, and you're all excited, and your family is there, and your friends are there, and, and you're there with your classmates, and you've got your cap and your gown, and, and you know that there's going to be a time in that ceremony where you're going to walk across stage, and the president, provost, somebody's going to shake your hand, hand you a diploma, congratulate you, and, and you're going to get off the other side, they're going to have president waiting for you and they'll be taking pictures and everybody will be shaking your hand and say, congratulations today, you become a success, you're, you're a college graduate. Now, now, my friend, you did not become a success the day that you got your diploma. Now, what you did have happen to you in that ceremony is you got recognized for success. The diploma is recognition of what you have done the previous four or five years. You see, you were a success in your freshman year when you decided to not drop out of school like some of your other classmates and decided to stick to it. And you were a success every time you studied for a test. And you were a success every time you did a project or, or did a writing assignment. You see, you're a success all through, all through school. Uh, you're a success every day. Success is a daily thing, not a destination thing. The day you got the diploma, you just got recognized for the success that you already were. Now, that's very essential because so many times people have a, have a tendency to devalue the moment today. What they do is they greatly value the destination and so they kind of talk about, well, when I get there, or if I arrive there, or when I do that, or when I accomplish this. And they don't understand that success is a daily thing. And I'm here to share with you that the secret of success is determined by your daily agenda. In fact, I wrote a book a few years ago called Today Matters. I'm passionate about that book because what it does is it helps you, it helps me to understand that we make decisions and then we manage decisions. And, and too often we think, I will make a decision. For example, you're saying, I'm going to make a decision to be a coach. Or I'm going to make a decision. Not, you know what? I'm going to make a decision to, to be a public speaker. I want to be a communicator. Well, congratulations. congratulations. You've made a wonderful decision. Coach, speaking, good decisions. But that won't make you a successful coach. That won't make you a successful communicator. It's not the decision that makes you. You've got to make the decision by managing it, and you manage the decision on a daily basis. In other words, what you want to be tomorrow, you've got to do today. 
You visualize tomorrow. That gives you hope, and that's your motivation, and that's your dream. You, nothing wrong with that. You visualize tomorrow, but you value today. What's that mean? That means that what I do every day is either getting me closer to that vision, that dream, that goal, or it's really driving me farther away from it. You see, every day... We are either repairing or we're preparing. You see, if I messed up yesterday, guess what I get to do today? Fix yesterday. <laughs> In other words, if I didn't do the right thing yesterday, what I got to do today is I've got to repair. I've got to go back, make amends, backtrack, put the car in reverse, put my life in reverse. I've got to go back there. I've got to repair. Now, every day I spend repairing, I'm not spending preparing. Well, you see, we repair when we fail to manage the decisions that we've made. We prepare when we, on a daily basis, manage the decisions that we've made. So your footprints to success are really footprints of success because every step that is made and taken based upon the goals that you have for your life and you're managing those goals correctly, every step is the progressive realization of success in your life. And by the way, oh, you, you'll get the diploma, you'll get the certificate, but, but when you get that, you didn't arrive. It just is another step in preparing you to reach your potential. Each one of us should live our life as if. We'll never learn everything we never le need to learn. We'll never be able to accomplish everything we wanted to accomplish. We won't be able to experience everything we wanted to experience. We should live our life every day hungry, understanding that we are to live until we die. You see, I think success can't be summarized in a flippant degree or program or diploma or arrival. I think today, if you are learning to coach, if you are learning to speak, if you're doing the things that are essential to the decisions and you're managing those decisions well, can I say something to you? Congratulations. You are already a success. Now, guess what? Over time, it shows up. You've heard the expression. You maybe have even said it yourself. You've heard the expression, I'm sure. I've worked all my life to become an overnight success. <laughs> That's the way it works. All of a sudden, somebody recognizes you. All of a sudden, somebody congratulates you. You didn't get good at that moment. You've been good for a long time. It just showed up someday. So... As I walk alongside of you, the reason we have tools and resources and helps and principles that we teach is because every day we want you to learn. Every day we want you to grow. Every day we want you to absorb. Every day we want you to do the things that will help you to someday be the person that you want to become. The journey is a delightful experience. The only thing better than taking the journey by yourself is to take the journey with someone else, to learn together, to grow together, to develop together, to be great together. That's what I want for you.